guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to me being home from Glendale, Arizona. I thought it would be a good idea to sit down and show you guys because in my vlogs, I kind of did not even show you what I got from the merch stand. I kind of just said, oh, we're going and then it was chaos like getting ready and all that. So I never really showed you what I picked up for myself and so I decided let's just sit down, let's tell them and do a little haul and like tell you about the sizing, stuff like that. Um, the merch stands are crazy. So if you're definitely wanting something, I suggest going early. State Farm Stadium actually tweeted that they were opening merch at 12 a.m. And Natalie, Emma, and I got there about an hour before. And we got everything that we wanted the first day. And then we kept seeing people online like wearing like the hoodies and stuff. And we regretted not getting stuff. <laughs> and I still regret not getting some stuff. So I highly suggest... In conclusion if you're looking for something um, definitely go ahead and grab it because the first day we had like optimum chances to get everything we wanted and then I went back the second day trying to get one of the hoodies and they were completely gone completely sold out so moral story like I said definitely know what you want going into it so the first thing that I got is something I cannot take off my body both of the merch pieces like the apparel pieces that I got I literally cannot take off for the life of me the only time I took them off was literally to wash them and I did not put any of this in the dryer um, because I'm hearing that some of like the the prints aren't as good after you dry them so I definitely recommend air drying <sighs> okay I love this shirt so much the quality of this shirt is chef's kiss it's not thin at all it's nice thick cotton i asked for a large when i went up there and the lady accidentally gave me a medium and usually that would not be good for me because of the girls however this merch is very oversized this fits like a large um so it just looks like this it has the eras tour like print on the front and then on the back it just has the dates and um i'll insert a picture of it here so you can see it better um but this was definitely one of my favorite things that I got. It's simple, it's cute, and the colors, like, even my mom said today when I wore this, she's like, the colors really pop on it. Like, it doesn't look dull or anything like that. So then, I do want to mention some of the pieces are not online. Like, this is not online yet. Okay, so the next piece that I got, I was obsessed with immediately. Like, I was like here here's my card like just just take it I won't even look I believe this was $65 it is the quarter zip it's plain on the front it's just it's really really nice material I got this in a large and it fits honestly like an extra large um, every single merch piece that I've heard people talk about like you can you can size down if you want um, I would go with your true size just in case you know you accidentally mesh it up in the dryer at some point or something like that um, I know I'm going to be wearing these a lot, so that's why I really wanted my true size. And this is the back. Then on the sleeves, I got a misprint. So one sleeve says Taylor Swift. The other one also on mine says Taylor Swift. Now, it's supposed to say the Eras Tour on one sleeve. However, I got a misprint. And you know what? I'm not complaining about that. I love it so much and it has the tour print on the back anyways so yeah Emma also got one and she also said that she thought it was oversized but she absolutely loves it and same with like the crew necks and stuff like that people are also saying that um, they're very oversized and like I said I just don't recommend throwing them in the dry in the dryer for like the print sake because they are so vivid and bright um, what else was I gonna say also, after your show, there is a coupon code that goes floating around for 15% off. So say that you don't want to stand in the merch lines for like five to six hours. Like people in Las Vegas yesterday were standing in merch lines for five to six hours and they were selling out by the time they got up there. So um, if you don't want to do that, uh, <laughs> which I, I absolutely wouldn't because I'd want to be getting ready and stuff like that. Um, I definitely recommend going online and just ordering your merchandise online. Like, in, in your mind, you know, you're already spending that money anyways. You know, you've already set aside money for merch. Just, like, ship it. And if it's past $50, it's free shipping. Yes, it'll take longer, but yes, it'll save you the hassle of, like, 
standing in line for that long. And if you do want to get merch there, definitely go early. And I recommend as soon as... I'm also going to do a video like what to expect at the Eras Tour. But I definitely recommend going early. Like as soon as early merch opens or a little like before. And I definitely recommend like if you're waiting until you get in the venue, make that your first spot. Okay. So then... This made me really happy. Okay. They have posters for every single city okay they have city specific posters and this is what the glendale one looks like it's pretty big i love it so much it has the eras to a print um and it just says march 17th and march 18th glendale arizona i think it's oh my god i cannot wait to frame it and put it on my wall next to my reputation ones like that's just we love her. We stand. I love when they do like city specific stuff. It makes me so happy. Um, it's such like a good memory. Also, when you get merchandise, you get a bag that looks like this. It's just a clear bag. It says Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour. And then you get a little Taylor Swift throughout the Eras collection, um, little poster card. And then also, I believe this was $25. I got the Taylor Swift The Eras Tour tote bag. And I I love it so much. Again, the colors are just so vivid and bright. And then it has the cities on the back and then the albums. Okay, I love that so much. And then I did purchase a $15 item. And I don't know if this is a stadium thing or if this is a tour thing. So Natalie and I wanted Globatons um, for night two. And so when we went to the merch stand the second night, we were like, okay, let's go get our $15 Globatons. And then people started going to the stadium. Natalie and I were still at our hotel and people were tweeting like, hey, um, don't bring your Globatons because they're making you throw it out in security. So even if you had literally bought the Globatons from the merch stand early, you couldn't bring them like into the stadium, which is, I don't know, like I said, if that's a State Farm Stadium thing or if, you know, that's a tour thing. I would think it wouldn't be. I think that State Farm Stadium, which I don't blame them, we're just taking like the extra step and precaution to like make sure that everything was safe and sound. So just be careful of that. I would definitely recommend being on the safe side and purchasing the Globaton when you get to the stadium for the concert. Like not early, but like for the concert. This is said Globaton. It's really cute. And I'm really kind of sad that I wasn't able to use it, but um, it's okay because I have Globatons from the other tours. So this made me happy to get regardless. And I did want to mention too, when you walk in the gate after scanning your tickets, at, like after security, after you scan your tickets, they hand you a light up bracelet. And this is free. And it just says Capital One and then taylorswift.com. You adjust it, you put it on your wrist, and it is a freaking light show when Taylor's performing and she's done this for other tours too but I, it just makes me happy that she brought it back for the Eras tour because she knows we love it so much and I had nosebleeds for Glendale night too and let me tell you it was so beautiful like tour spoiler if you don't want to hear any tour spoilers uh just click off the video now but during like lover and then you need to calm down like there were the whole crowd was rainbow and then during Lever, there were hearts like forming and you could see it all from the nosebleeds. Like it was absolutely beautiful. So I don't, don't, if you have nosebleeds, don't feel bad. Like I can tell you, I truly would buy nosebleed tickets again. Like so enjoyable. But that is everything that I got at the Eras Tour. Um, I did get a hoodie with the discount code for Glendale. I think it's like a 48 hour code. Um, they usually send it like after the concert. It goes floating around online. I personally didn't even get like an email for it. I saw it on Twitter. So just keep an eye out for it. Um, it's a 15% off code and I did order a hoodie. So stay tuned for that unboxing. But that is everything that I got at the Eras Tour and like I said, just if you want merch, go early, like before the merch, early merch even opens or make it your very first priority when you get in that stadium. 
um, if you don't feel like waiting because, you know, shows are going to start in like the heat of the summer. Um, it was hot standing out there, but like it's going to get even hotter like June, July, August shows. Like it's going to be hot. Take care of yourself and definitely, you know, I would consider even buying it online or, you know, something like that. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions about the merch, just let me know. Um, like I said, you're free to size up if you feel comfortable with that. Like, like I said, like I'm wearing a medium. I usually wear a large. Um, I did ask for the large, but you know what? They're so busy and please be nice to the merch people. They are working their butts off. Like they are catering to like 70,000, 80,000 people. Like definitely keep in mind that they are doing their best and they're working so hard and everything like that. So yeah, if you work merch, you are truly a hero. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you, yes you, in the next one. Bye guys.